My name is Milan Amin. I'm director of the NYU Langone Voice Center. Primarily, I see patients with voice and swallowing disorders. Uh, they tend to be patients who either are singers or other vocal professionals that have issues with their voice. We also see patients who have swallowing problems uh, related to um, uh, surgery sometimes, related to other problems that they may have lower down in their gastrointestinal tract. Um, we also see patients with airway problems, uh, patients who have, for example, uh, injuries to their airway that causes them to have tracheostomies and our goal is oftentimes to get the tracheostomies out. Patients come to us because they just feel like they can't do what they want to do and so you know voice is sort of integral in patients lives. We take it for granted as humans that, that we have a voice but the fact is that being human is communicating with other people and if you can't communicate with other people it really changes who you are inside and so a lot of patients come because they're frustrated uh, or they are just saddened by the fact that they can't communicate in the way that they used to communicate. So that's how they find us eventually. NYU Langone Voice Center was first started in 2005 when I came here. Uh, the concept was is to make it a multidisciplinary center. Uh, as I mentioned before, the patients who we see tend to be singers or other vocal professionals. And a lot of what they do involves not just the medical aspect of things, but also how they use their voice in the environment that they use it in. And that involves help from uh, specialists like speech therapists and vocal trainers and singers, singing teachers. Uh, and in order to incorporate that all within one house, we created the NYU Langone Voice Center. Uh, and so what we were able to do is we were able to see these patients in conjunction with other subspecialties that deal with voice in different ways. Uh, so we see them in conjunction with speech pathologists and oftentimes in conjunction with singing teachers to help them get back to where they need to get both from a medical aspect and a rehabilitative aspect. Obviously New York is a place that uh, is known for its professional singing. Uh, the community here in terms of both amateur singers, professional singers is just amazing and outstanding. They uh, are people who are very educated about their voice and that's helpful to me as a, as a clinician who wants to take care of them because as I educate them they, they take up that information and they, they follow through on the recommendations. Uh, it's also just a, a place of the arts and, and a lot of what I do involves uh, you know, helping them out with their art and their craft. So it's helpful in that way.